Actinidia varieties which can be grown in the Polish climate, such as Actinidia arguta or Actinidia columicta, should be pruned very early in spring or at the end of winter, before the plant enters the vegetation season. If pruned after the juice starts circulating, the plant could bleed. After making the first cut, please note whether drops of juice appear on the wound. That would mean we left it too late and it's better to delay the pruning till June. Generally we prune actinidias late in winter or in early spring. This is when the basic thinning pruning should take place. We remove the straggly growth and the shoots that appear at the base of the plant. We don't need them. It's important to make sure that the shoots will later produce fruit and receive as much light as possible. When some leaves are shaded by others, they breathe and drain the carbohydrates while not producing a new supply and actually become a burden for the plant. It's better to discard them. Another pruning may be performed in June to reduce the plant to the allotted space. Then, in the end of July or the beginning of August, we prune it again to encourage the flower buds. Flower buds set in autumn, that is in September and at the beginning of October. Here we can see them. They would all produce fruit, but leaving all these shoots to grow would mean that the buds will be shaded and the berries won't reach the expected size or even won't develop at all. I've cut back this shoot that grew to the side. They're not wanted here. We make a cut at the base, just above the branch collar. This is the growth tissue and the wound will heal nicely. Of course, we prune accordingly to the chosen method of training. On the production plantation, actinidias are trained in the T-shape. We train a leading shoot first and when it reaches the right height, we prune it and the new shoots are trained to the sides along the wires. After another pruning, the side shoots grow on which flower buds set. In amateur cultivation, we usually lack the space to train actinidias like this. I recommend training them along a fence or over flat supports. They can simply be posts set 40 to 50 centimeters apart with wires stretched between them, along which we train shoots, like this one here. It's staying. Another one should be at least 20 to 30 centimeters apart, which means we'll leave this or this one. The rest should be removed. We shouldn't leave them all so close to one another, because their leaves will overlap and shade each other. Some of the fruiting stems that grow to the sides can be left, but those errant ones, especially when they're vegetative, should be removed. When I want to trim a shoot that's too long or overreaching, I cut above a bud. Place the shears about 0.5 or a maximum of 1 cm away from the bud. Make a diagonal cut with the longer part on the bud's side. Najdłuższa była po stronie pąka, 
Even if the tip dies back, the bud remains unharmed. The bottom edge of the cut also should be around two to three millimeters away from the bud base. The pruning is nearly finished. I'm going to trim just one more shoot. It's growing laterally and its leaves will shade fruit. This one can be trimmed too. The plant is now ready. Next year it will require some corrections as it's still too thick in places. When new shoots appear, we will lead one of them upwards, so it keeps the distance. These plants were neglected for a couple of years and now, thanks to the pruning, are back in good shape. We can see over there that some of them have been properly maintained.